Hi guys, I'm wearing a mask even in the in my gym, but I'm doing it on purpose because I'm going to, today I want to talk about why masks are so important and and uh, preventing um, infection by COVID-19. Um, in the beginning, there was there was confusion with the CDC as far as uh, why where whether masks are, are um, effective and 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 preventing uh, COVID-19 in the beginning, and I think that a lot of that had to do with um, the fact that. Americans weren't ready for for uh, wearing masks because it's just it's just America for you. Asia is more prevalent, and also they wanted to save uh, as many masks as they can for the healthcare workers, uh, the N95 and the surgical masks. Um, and so um, that was that was a, that, that was the reason. And then, um, but the CDC reversed their their uh, their uh, recommendations, and and because there were several things that 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 happened that. Um, showed like lots of evidence as far as um why it's important to wear masks um uh peter george rutherford md and peter ching hong md from uh uc san francisco they they actually uh did an interview um one time and and this is this was when what they said um hundreds of droplets from 20 to 50 micrometers were uh generated from a single phrase okay that's without a mask but they were all blocked when they uh when they uh a damp washcloth. They were all blocked pretty much um, by a damp washcloth, and um, which is which is crazy. I mean, just a single phrase. That's a lot of that's a lot of virus particles. Um, and then uh, as a source control because they can prevent larger expelled. Uh, masks are also a source control because they can prevent larger expelled droplets from evap evaporating into smaller droplets um, uh, that travel farther. And also, surgical masks are generally more protective than cloth masks, and some people find them lighter and more uh, comfortable to wear. Um, this is a, this is the kind of mask I wear, and and I I usually buy them. I buy them in the 50 packs in, at uh, at Walgreens, and they're about 34 bucks. But you know, I also can order them. But um, if you need them and you run out, you can just go to Wal Walgreens and get them. Um, and then Peter Ching Hong, uh, MD, he said that there, he said the three W's for to ward off COVID-19, uh, wear a mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. So six, always social distance by six feet. Um, when I go to places like, you know, gas stations and HEB or, or any, any supermarket, whatever, and um, there are people that are not, well, HEB always has, has they, they always, um, you know, try to, you know Walmart, and they try to enforce the the rules. But there there are some people that that do not believe in wearing the mask. They they'll walk around with a mask, and and there's nothing they can really do about it. You know, um, they can't force people to to wear the mask. You know, I mean, but uh, for the most part, most people do, and uh, that's why when I go places like that, I'm always wearing um, this. I, I I wear this even inside my gym, just just to be safe and protect everyone from from getting sick. You know this. This prevents virus particles from entering my eyes, and because you can get infected by that. Um, and also, there were there were two two compelling studies where um, I think uh, uh, a hairstylist that uh, was infected with COVID nineteen, you know, worked on up to one hundred forty people, and um, none of them tested positive. And then there was one uh, incidence where this guy was on a flight, and he was wearing a mask, but he had a dry cough. And he, there was 25 other people that were around him, and th I think they were wearing a mask. And yeah, they wore masks, and I don't think he wore. I'm not sure if he wore a mask or not, but he was cough. He had a dry, constant dry cough, and none of them tested positive. So um, that just shows how effective uh, wearing a mask, you know, is. Um, and also, there was a compelling study where, uh, where in a community where they all started wearing masks, and the the incident transmission decreased by nine percent. 0.9 percent but after three weeks it was up two percent from that so that's another um um and some more compelling evidence that that wearing masks does work anyways guys um this isn't going to stop until we all in, until we can all get vaccinated and and there's a lot of people that are dying because um it's it's affecting them in a way where they 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 can't breathe anymore and and that causes, you know, the the um, acute respiratory distress syndrome, the the cytokine storm. There's just so, there's so many things that, that can happen with this virus, and and uh, not enough is known about it. 
so until then, and until we can all get a vaccine and, and have herd immunity, it's important that, that we, you know, um, do our due diligence and, and wear a mask and um, take, care of, take care of us and take care of everyone around us, okay? God bless you guys.